How's it going? Happy Sunday, happy weekend. It's still beautifully sunny, although I've done it in the garden today because it's a little bit um, mellower because <laughs> it was really hot last time. Um, but today, a very short one again. Um, it's another little how to, and today is a how to on rolling your board. How to roll your board. Um, sounds really stupid, really, really simple. However, there are people that are rolling it from where are we? Let's do this. Right. This end, the back. We don't want to be here. The back is, is should stay last. Back is last. Nose is first. Yes? So quite simple. Sounds stupid, but you know, we've all done it. The best thing to do is how to roll your board. Um, one really important thing you do after you roll your board is take care of it because it's the most susceptible to damage when it's rolled. Once it's got air in it, it's nice and solid and rigid and got everything it needs to do, it's nice and uh, nice and um, robust. But when it's rolled up, that's when you're gonna do your damage. So, very quickly, nose of the board, and I'm gonna turn the camera around. Bear with me. Right, nose of the board. Board's sat quite happily, like this. Roll your board, this is how this is how we choose to do it. Other people may have other, other opinions. However, roll your board from your nose and keep it tight. There's nothing wrong with, with um, making it nice and tight. Nice and tight, look at that, it's beautiful. See, this, this has been just unrolled so it's helping me out a little bit. But roll your board from the nose to the tail. Doesn't matter if it stays like that. This is an old one, as you can see, it's got the old sliding fin. However, with the US box fin, it's a little bit longer. Um, a little bit longer in it. Should roll round. You can do what you want with your board and you can roll it however you want. However, here we go. This is the important part about when you roll your board. A lot of people will get their board nice and rolled up. They'll get their sup bag, and they'll get their board and they'll do that. Nice and stirred up, ready to go, lifted into their sup bag. However, right down here are your important little rails. These rails are now, if you're not doing it on grass, if it's on sand, you're good. If you're on pebbles, you're good. If you're on concrete, stones, or anything else that's a little bit rough and tough, you are gonna damage a board. What you're gonna have is you're gonna have damage on these things, on your rails. And what will happen is, as you can see here, they're pinched. They're nice and pinched here, nice and, nice and tight because you've rolled it, and you've rolled it right, and this is all good, this is all fine. However, this, on anything rough and rugged, is gonna make a hole. Don't do it, don't do it. It's nice and simple, nice and easy. Keep it flat, put your bag flat. I should've had a bag, but I should've had a bag, shouldn't I? Should've done it. Have your bag flat, unzip it all the way around, so it's a nice big open mouth. Spread it wide, the mouth, and then slide the bag in, it's like to pour it into the bag. That's the best way to do it. Do not, please, 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 don't roll your board like that. Hi, Cal, how are you doing? Um, thanks for joining us. Don't stand that board up on anything rough because you will hole it. It will hole and then it, you're in all sorts of problems. Now, also quickly while we're here, that's guy, how you doing? Um, right, this board rolled up like this, it's beautiful. Now. We're going away, we've been to Kefalonia a couple of times, we're taking the boards with us. When you roll your board, nice and tightly, so I'm gonna slow the camera down, it's a little bit crazy. When you roll your board nice and tightly, and it's like this, and it's sitting here, what you can do is you can roll your pump inside that board. Roll your pump in that board, and then put the board in the bag. So you've rolled the pump inside there, and it might be nice and loose, and then put the paddle also next to the pump. Then you've got, your ice up, all ready to go, zipped up with a nice padlock on it, and then you can put in the front pocket, you can put whatever you want. Lipstick, I like red, um, doesn't go in my eyes. But you can put anything you want in the front pocket. That's the purpose of the front pocket. People put their pump in it, it's great and it's good, but it doesn't always zip up. Put the pump inside the bag, put the pump inside that, and not only that, it rolls it, it keeps it nice and safe. So, roll that baby up, that thing there, there we go. You don't see the trampoline. Roll that up, put your pump inside it, put that inside your bag with your, with your paddle and your fin goes in the front pocket. And it's, um, it's massively important that you look after those rails. So please, when you've rolled it, 
don't put it on the side on anything rough because you will put a hole in it. These bad boys go on holiday, get dragged around, get smashed up, get get run into rocks. However, as soon as they are deflated, they're a little bit, a little bit gentle, a little bit susceptible. So look after them. Um, I can't think of anything else. If you've got any questions whilst we're on here, hi Sean, how you doing? And I'm not going to talk to you because you're in in Greece and I'm a little bit jealous. But if you've got any questions whilst you're here, please fire them away. But other than that, if you roll your board, when you roll your board, roll it nose to tail. And then that means that, let's do it again quickly. Oh, do you know what? Really important one. This. Did you hear that? There's a little bit of air left in it. Try and make sure that's pushed down. It's a bit of a pain because you've got to make sure <laughs> make sure it's up when you unroll it because as you pump and you do 15 psi and you're thinking yes and you take it out and it's like ah oh, no so make sure that is down when you roll and then that makes sure all the air comes out of it and you could twist it once you've rolled it but let's do it again quickly very quickly very quickly for you nose is already folded over luckily for me we go all the way all the way nose uh, to tail nose to tails Look after the rails, don't stand them up. And if you've done your valve, this isn't, there you go, pop it up. Yeah, the old valve trick, make sure that's up before you start pumping. And then you're ready to go for next time. Um, so I can't think of anything else. I'm going to start boring you now. I'm going to blather on and wait for someone to ask a question, but roll the board up. Roll the pump, if you're going away or you're gonna put it away somewhere, roll the pump inside the board and then put, uh, put that in, in the uh, bag and then put your three piece paddle inside that, then zip it up. Then you've got the front pocket to do whatever you want with. Sandwiches is a good one. Sandwiches is great in the front, unless it goes on the plane and they get squashed. Have a lovely Sunday. Thank you very much for watching us. Thank you for all your feedback. There's a new blog. There's a new blog, so have a look at that. It's about what's coming up. We've got some new ones, and we've got a nice one. Um, I'm going to tell you now, and Ruben's going to kick me because it shouldn't say it until you've read the blog, but there's a new Subskate V2 coming out. The Subskate V2. New colour, new shape, new design. It's oh, a little bit in love with it. Um, and it's Ruben's idea, which kills me. Um, but otherwise, have a beautiful Sunday. Thank you for joining us, and enjoy yourselves. Laters.